Hey guys, welcome back in our video in Sayhub and this video we'll just learn lifting a little bit more <laughs> yeah, lifting a little bit more so my uh, viewers scope he just uh, write a comment that is there, there a way to modify physical uh, like a drift a little bit more uh, so in the last previous video I just add a simple uh, show that how you can easily make the physicality of a vehicle or how you can use the physicality of vehicles so let's do it some more advanced so here i already created the project and let me show you that how it's work so uh, so here here you can see that it's my vehicle and it's totally unreal engine marketplaces content so don't worry and if you want you can also get the assets but i will show you that how i modify it so here you can see we have a vehicle and a simple character who have no head okay so let's show you that when I go uh, a advanced level of speed, then if I click on right or left, here you can see it's a drifting, or you can see the particles of the drifting. And you can see if I now, when you are stop, and if I click on left or right, it's not uh, giving any particles, okay? But if I have any now, a uh, speed, like a drift speed, so it will be if I click then right or left, or if I handle it, it uh, right or left, it will be drift. Here you can see the drift particles, it's very nice. Yeah, baby, we are drifting okay so let's learn that how you can create in unreal engine so here i just use a standard content uh, some standard content and a marketplaces content of unreal engine in the marketplaces content i just use the vehicle assets and a simple physicality what i learned in the last video and now let's see that how you can use so for that uh, uh you need to add some uh, uh, spline or some mesh or assets some here that uh, spinner or sharp or some kind of like sharp that you can easily uh, get the location so here you find the components Google components and search as P yeah SP SP here so here you can just drag and drop in here and then it's just a location like this okay in the wheel section do the same thing for the other wheels too the front one back one back one and the front one so remember the front uh, two one it's a spin, uh, spinner and spinner two for my case and then we'll need a particle so what will particle do is it's the most important thing of the drifting so uh, and luckily I have the particles from their default page that the assets there you can see it's not showing like so good let me show you in here okay so here you can see it's uh, totally so much uh, you can see huh, maybe you can't see <laughs> it's uh, so much you know drifty so however guys uh, here is a particle and we will what we do is basically very simple uh, we will create a simple uh, a actor so what the actor do here you can see the new group in actor just click on right mouse and group in class and set actor and in the actor section what you need to do just drag and drop the particles and here you can see after the drag and drop the particle uh, you find like this a simple particle and I just give the direction and uh, in activate is 111 and get the size is 3355 uh, five, okay the scale size is 355 five, okay and then go on the event section and I just add simply a uh, grouping code that when even begin play after the 3 seconds it will be destroy the actor it's mean that if we not do, if we if we not add this what happened that it will be add the particles in the if, uh, our in game but it will be not destroy the particle for that the game size will be uh, larger and green can be lagged so that's why for removing the lag so I just add simple this so after the three seconds it all will be destroy the uh, particle so we don't need to worry about the particle now let's go in this uh, uh, the vehicle section and because in the event what I do is just here you can see the even we can play I just add a sequence and create a blueprint or a widget so what the widget do is it's uh, basically giving me the value of the speed okay so for checking the value how much so here I just add simple a vehicle movement from here my vehicle movement and then I get the forward speed and set a just promote a variable and set it to speed so I get a now full valuable of the forward speed that how much the vehicle is correctly now the speed okay and then I just verify the speed in here okay so for getting the value for uh, to display in my widget so what I'll do is add a simple uh, logic here that here you can see get, get the pawn cast and get the speed and just drag it with this okay 
So let's come in this enter that now how you can verify the speed, okay? Now you can see that I just verify the speed with 500. So what does do that? If our speed is more than 500, then what it will do? It's give a command to drift. But before drift, it need to verify one more thing that drift, okay? So are it's drifting or not? It's mean that we need to give a command that yeah, you can do drift or not. So for that, I just add a simple key here A or D. It's mean that if A keyboard press yeah or the D button press what will we do it's giving the command that drift or not drift it means that if we press A or D what will we do it's giving the command that yeah do now the drift and when we just uh, remove the key or just stop pressing or release the key of A or D what will we do is tell the engine that yeah stop the drift so just simple verify here after the verify I just get the location of where I need to drift okay why well, i need to add the particle so we know that before uh, starting of the video we add the spinner sum or you can tell what you want bro i am not so pro however i just get the location and just spawn the actor so what the spawn actor so you know that we create a simple a particle actor so after need to automatically de uh, destroy so we just drag and drop and add with this so in my case it's a new blueprint yeah new blueprint and that's all and the second one, we also do the same thing for the sequence I add for the left one. This means that I write, I add it for right one and add for left one. Okay, so it will be spawned from two areas. So here you can see that the spinner and the location, get the location and the spin actor. So it's very simple but for making the whole thing, I need uh, one hour to make this whole thing because I just testing that yeah it's working or not or however we do if you go on the internet and if you search that uh, real engine uh, let's search on real engine vehicle drift you can't find any good video that it show that yeah do like drift or how you can use the drift or how you can make the drift you find some videos that yeah they are do, uh, drifting on the video and uh, you find the physicality actor and the particles but in my video you find that how you can add snake or how you can make the drifting okay so here i just hope you like this and let's test after then doing the thing so here you can see i getting the speed right now it's zero if i now speed up or w press it will be get the speed so you can see when i get the speed but it will be not do anything it's mean it don't uh, spawn any particle but if i do in the right or left in the 500 so it will be what will be do is it's drift and particle system will be activated so that's all guys, I just hope you like this video, don't forget to like, share and comment, if you have any question, you can comment in my comment box, thank you so much for watching and I just hope you like my videos, so keep supporting me, I just hope we'll make you a good YouTuber for Unreal Engine, yeah, let's do it bro, hey, let's add a background music. Yeah.